Hello everyone, I am here with Mike Zillich, Mach Nikely's Senior Applications Engineer. Mike has been working on Mazax for how many years now? 28 years. 28 years, that's a long time, but he is the expert. So we're going to be showing a demo today on the machine that's behind us, the Mazak VC EZ20. But before we get started, Mike, why don't you run us through a product overview, some specs on the machine. Sure. Go ahead. Thanks. Mazak recently came out with, with the VC EZ series um, to help the shop floor companies that uh, don't have a programming department, that they want to do everything right on the floor and part print right to cutting a chip. So the VCEC uh, 16, 20, and 26 are the available models. The stroke limits on the 16 are gonna be, uh, X is gonna be 30 inches by 16. The 20 is gonna be a, a 41 inch by 20 inch. And then finally you got the 26 is gonna be, I believe, 41 inches by 26 and wide. Gives you a lot of room capability. Um, Control-wise, they've added a touch screen to the machine, um, making it a little bit more user-friendly. Some of the older controls you had to back in the day for a uh, address letter, you had to hit a couple of shift characters to get to a correct character. Now it's a full QWERTY keyboard, making it a lot easier to work on the machine. Uh, both Mesa Tool, the conversational programming, as well as EIA programming is standard on the machine. So works out quite well. Yeah, and so you mentioned the easy control over here. Can you talk a little bit more about that? What makes it you know so intuitive for the customer? Yeah, so you have the ability to actually have a part print, and the conversational side is basically it's going to prompt you with several questions. Uh, answer the questions. You don't need to know G01, G0, your absolute uh, codes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, cycle time, the wise, a lot of times people, I would recommend to people that you can probably program a maze control program probably three times faster than if you're trying to write a program out in longhand and code. Oh, that's impressive. All right, so Mike, lastly, why don't you tell us what sets this machine and the EZ series apart from its competitors? So the biggest thing is having the conversational programming and the EIA programming. Okay. Um, you're able to write a program at a fast amount of time. Uh, I can have a part probably program five, 10 minutes and cut the chip, setting it up, getting it ready to go. Um, G-code programs a little bit longer, um, but for more complex parts, sometimes people go with the G-code, but for some of the very simple parts, drilling, tapping, milling on outside profiles, basic tool is the way to go. All right, so we're gonna do a demo today, so why don't you run us through what the demo is gonna be showing. Okay, so basically we're gonna be doing a combination just like what I spoke about earlier. We're gonna have a maze control conversational program that I'm going to go ahead and probe with Renishaw Inspection Plus. Then we're gonna go into a maze control uh, facing routine, which you can see an X I directional cut. And then finally, we're gonna go into some dynamic milling, which is a high speed cutting tool path, 150 inches a minute cut, and uh, the retract is gonna be at 200 inches. All right, everyone, well, thanks for watching. I hope that you learned a little bit more about not only the BC EZ20, but the Mazak EZ series overall. Mike, thanks for being with us. Sure. And if you guys want to see a demo on this machine, contact your territory sales manager today. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.